In this video, I'm gonna work on the Vim source code. So I'm gonna start by running C tags recursively on the source of Vim. After C tags finished, we can use the tags to actually navigate the code. So I can run, for example, tag, and let's jump to the echo command. You can see it brought me right into the code that actually handles echo on Vim. So let's say I wanna go ahead and call here another function. Let's say the arg add function. So I start typing arg, and let's say I can't remember the name of the function, so I can just autocomplete the tag. I'm gonna use control X and then closing square brackets. Now I can see we're getting here smart autocomplete that works with the actual tags generated on the source code. Let's say I wanna go ahead and reference the file path that is in my source. For example, I'm importing some file. So I can do is start writing the path to the file, for example, source, and then something that starts with GUI. And then I'm gonna just press control X and then right after that F. F is for file. Now you can see I'm getting autocomplete for a lot of file names matching the file that I started. And just choose one of them. Let's say I started writing code and then I wanna autocomplete this. And I'm starting the autocomplete, for example, with control N. And I don't see here an option I wanna use. So I'm actually changing my mind and I don't wanna autocomplete anything. So what you can do is just press control E and it'll cancel the autocompletion and bring you back to before you started the autocomplete. Subscribe for more Vim videos and thanks for watching.